at a food festival in Durham, North Carolina. Healthy appetites, but not for politics. Voters here are fed up with politicians and their campaigns. They're horrible. They're so negative. They're, they make me feel dirty when I watch them. I try not to spend my time thinking about it, honestly. Yeah. Why's that? Because I don't want my day ruined. Oh, I think they're equally bad. There's not a lot of integrity on either side. You can't find a particular side that is actually has any amount of integrity. It's that bad, is it? It's that bad. It's that bad, unfortunately. With voters in that kind of resentful mood, neither party can expect a ringing endorsement, however these midterm elections turn out. The president is unpopular, the economy barely recovering, and most of the competitive battles in this election are in states like North Carolina that have been moving towards Republicans. So you might have thought it would be easy for them to retake the Senate, but it's far closer than that. Out-of-state gun control groups are all in for Kay Hagan. With the race so close, supporters on both sides are pouring unprecedented amounts of money into campaigns. Speaker Tillis should be ashamed for running an ad that says, I would let our soldiers die in vain. A hundred million dollars in North Carolina alone, most of it on negative advertising. Campaign finance limits have been scrapped, and activists say this is democracy for sale. This is fundamentally an auction. We're turning our election into an auction. Uh, who, who can throw the most money in can gain control of this state and the, the U.S. Senate. So it's very disturbing what's happening here. This is not democracy of the people. This is now dollars rule. Overall, the winners are likely to be Republicans who may narrowly seize control of the Senate. The losers will be the voters, tired of negative campaigns, exhausted by political gridlock, and almost certain to face more of the same for another two years. Dominic Waghorn, Sky News, Raleigh, North Carolina.